you're going to need a yellow cupcake. I made this with a golden cake mix, remove the paper liner, and then cut the cupcake in half using a serrated knife. This will make the top and the bottom of the bun. For the hamburger patty, I'm using brownies and a cookie cutter, just cutting out a circle that's the right size for the cupcake. This brownie I actually um, was the leftovers from the chocolate malt brownie cones that I made yesterday, that I showed you yesterday. That's why it's kind of small, but it's better if it's thinner because you want the patty to be thin. And I squished it down a bit to make it a little bit thinner, put it on the bun. For the cheese, I'm using Starburst candies. Starburst candies, if you unwrap them and put them in the microwave for about 10 seconds, they become quite soft and moldable, just like Play-Doh, and you can mold them into any shape you want. In this case, I'm taking two orange ones and squishing them together and just flattening it out with my fingers until you get a cheese slice shape. And you need to make it big enough so that it goes over top the patty and hangs down on the corners a little bit. And to glue the patty to the base of the bun, I'm just putting a little bit of white icing to act as glue. For the top of the bun, to make it look more realistic, I'm just brushing a little bit of water on the top and then sprinkling on a few sesame seeds. And the water will help them stick to the top of the bun. This is optional, of course. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Now I found the bottom of the bun was a little bit too thick, so I'm just cutting off just a section of the, the bottom of the bun, the bottom of the cupcake, I should say. I found that looked a little bit better. For condiments now, the condiments, there's lots of way, different ways you can use this. You could use candies, cereal, and I'm going to put the link to my sandwich cupcake in the description box, and that's going to show you different ways of making the condiments. I'm just using icing for condiments and put them at the very edge of the hamburger patty because you want them to squish out past the bun. You want to be able to see it. So I'm using, you know, yellow for mustard, red for ketchup, and green for either lettuce or relish, depending what you think it is, just on the edges. And when you put the bun down and give it a little bit of a squish, it look like there's condiments underneath the bun. And that's pretty much it. You could use miniature cupcakes as well. For French fries, I found that this idea in uh, the What's New Cupcake book. Um, they used pound cake. This is kind of like a flan cake. Um, it, it didn't quite work out quite like I wanted to. This is a potato slicer that I have that's serrated. That's kind of got a wavy kind of a blade to it and I just made some french fries out of the cake. And I'm putting a little bit of red icing for a glob of ketchup for dipping in. So there you go, cupcake hamburger and fries. Give it a try.